Hello, uh, Charles Hall here from Pixie. Um, I thought I'd give myself the opportunity to talk to you kind of directly about what we're doing, uh, why we think we're such a great company, and um, it's a little bit easier for me to just talk through what we're doing rather than getting it down on paper or into the computer. Um, so yeah, so like I said, uh, Pixie is our first leisure boat brand. Um, but sitting above that is our Neva Group company, and that is the brains behind this operation. And we've got a plethora of ideas of taking our technology, pulling it into the maritime sector, building brands, and then have them neatly uh, packaged so that they can get sold once they become uh, mature. Um, so yes, off we go. So Neva Group. Um, it's been created by three founders, myself, uh, Daniel Simpson and Paul Luscombe. Um, we've got a, a series of ideas and the first of which we wanted to bring to market was Pixie, our leisure boat brand. Um, everything that we wanted to do uh, with bringing a new boat brand to market is to have it as sustainable as possible. So we've chosen to make our boats out of aluminium, which means that we have very little or no waste when we get to make our boat. All the aluminium that's off cuts can go straight back into the um, into the recycling process and get used for something else or make another boat. <coughs> and when it comes to the end of its life, it can be fully recycled. Um, that's been our mantra all along. And we wanted to bring our leisure, bro leisure boat brand to market first um, because it's it's the most shiny, it's the most interesting, it's the most exciting thing that we can engage with the public and hopefully drum up information, information, uh, interest in, in what we're doing. Um, we do have currently two um, other brands sitting under the umbrella of Neva Group. One is Hippo Boats. Um, Hippo is gonna be our commercial boat offering. Um, once again, made out of aluminium. Once again, completely electric driven and using a jet propulsion system. It also meant that in our phased plan that we have, we can make our leisure boats, then strip back the beautifying parts of our leisure boats and make a functioning work boat. It also means that we've got some decent economies of scale. We would have already figured out our production process and so on. Um, we've had some positive interest from um, buyers, so um, locally to us, we're in Christchurch on the south coast of the UK. Um, harbours and um, port authorities either side of us uh, in Poole and in Southampton and in uh, Hamble have all been saying, oh, this work boat that you're going to make, uh, that would be absolutely perfect for us. Um, and so we are tentatively starting the process of converting those into sales. But as part of... Um, our, our mission is to focus on Pixie first and then bring these other brands to life. Third piece of the puzzle is Light Drive. Um, Light Drive is our take on the Jet Drive system. Um, we've done a series of designs and um, improvements to the current Jet Drive system, um, at which we want to patent. Um, I've spoken to my patent attorney about this, and um, he's very, uh, he would be, but he likes earning fees, I'm sure, but he's confident that um, uh, we will get a patent on our, our idea. Um, and once we've got the bandwidth or we've got the working capital to have Pixie working and up and running, then to turn our attentions to both Hippo and, and, and uh, Light Drive. So with the Light Drive system as such, um, we uh, typically you have a combustion engine turning an axle that makes the propulsion system work, whether we've chosen uh, jet drives, but whatever propulsion system. We've designed out, or we've imagined, what if you never had a combustion engine, how would you design a, a jet drive system? Um, and it's quite exciting. I would say that, of course, sorry, uh, buyer beware. Of course, I'm gonna be excited about this. Um, so the opportunity for us is quite, quite large. Um, and we are going to be entertaining each part of this process uh, as we grow. Um, currently, our production techniques are outsourced. Um, we want to be the, the sales and marketing, sorry, the design, sales and marketing uh, facility of B 
building these brands, uh, outsource our, our production to trusted partners, of which we've got quite a few now. Um, and, um, and then as we grow, uh, with regard to, you know, obviously our sales uh, process, our marketing processes, um, uh, our production systems, um, start translating from outsourced into in-house. Um, but we're small at the moment. We need help. Um, we need cash flow. We need all these things. So uh, to, to make a coherent plan, we've had to break this down into manageable steps. So I hope that helps with the very first introduction to uh, myself. If you haven't seen me before, hi, I'm Charles Hall. Um, and uh, I think I'll be trying to do a few more of these um, little videos, um, which I hope will help. Uh, and either I completely put you off and never want to, you know, invest in us ever, or like, okay, these guys um, have got something interesting and they're passionate about it, and I'd like to roll the dice with them as well. Um, so yeah, thank you for your time, and I will uh, I'll keep you posted. And uh, yeah, any questions, please just fire them either directly or on our Cedars um, discussion board. I'll be delighted to. Uh, to have a conversation with you in whatever regard that is. And uh, and thank you everyone so far who's already invested. Amazing. Thank you very much. I really, truly appreciate it. And I uh, can't wait to make this all happen. All right. Cheers for now. Thank you.